Oh shit. Here we go again. Hey everyone, this is Jose from Very Geek. Welcome back to Escape Daiyuoki version 1.4. I already went over the update in the last video. If anything, I'll just put a screenshot, boom, right here, and you guys can read it off and go over it. Uh, yeah, this is my second attempt at it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I really like this update. Uh, all the new music, just everything in general. The whole thing with the mic, I think that's a really nice touch. Obviously, if you're a content creator like myself, it's kind of tough to commentate and entertain you guys while keeping quiet but i'm still gonna try my best and yeah we're gonna try and finish it and finish with the new ending and everything so yeah let's get into it i heightened my microphone like to like so it can hear me better because i know the last episode had an echo so i'm wondering with the new settings if it'll be okay but because i made it louder he can hear me more This place. I need to find a way out of here. Flashlight. It's coming in. First objective: find the clock hands. Nothing here. Why is this place so big? It's like there's no ending. I'll just keep walking. Be very, very quiet. in the clock. Yes! I got a doo-doo in my butt
Wait, there's only one place I didn't check. And that was downstairs near the other staircase. Also, if you look at the floor, you can follow, kind of follow a blood pattern. Never mind, sorry, Michael. I think we're good in here. That's for the golden room, so we can use that for the golden room finally. Um, but yeah, there is an area next to the the other staircase, not the one that we usually run down through, but that I didn't check that was blacked out. So I'm assuming if I get a crowbar, maybe I could go there. So here we go. Not that door. That door's fake. We're gonna beat Michael. Hey, Mike. Psst. Hey, beat it sucks. I know, Ayuoki, I, I know it's not really Michael Jackson. Ayuoki's a creepy pasta, don't worry. It's not actually Michael Jackson. Are you too big of a baby bitch, huh? Are you okay?
permit me under the circumstances given. As we have been previously informed, we do have the tablet in our possession. Dr. Grayson has started the tablet and the application circle should be soon completed. Our next step is clear. It's time to awaken our friends. Well, it's not as simple as that. Taking into account the sacrifices that must be made, there's something else. If I'm correct, one of the inscriptions on the tablet says that the Elder asks for, in return of eternal youth, a young, fresh person, a pure soul, a child. And that fear is more intense, and that's what the ending feeds on. As I told you before, This is the one area I didn't check and the dev told me on the discord that that was a dummy door so I figured that the same door would be somewhere else so uh, this is the one area I didn't check so I finally found the, the freaking door in the basement holy shit if you, you want the discord link and all that it's in the description below people that just want to stay young forever and are sacrificing to the Ayuoki to stay young. I couldn't possibly ever come up with myself and things I would never want 
So it's messing with their mind. Okay. Stone tablets are never a good idea. Oh my god. Oh wait, here we go. Cutscene, cutscene. Oh, she just jumped over that. And she's about to get... What? No. No. There has to be another way. There has to be another way. Oh, she pissed him off though. Ayawoki's mad. Oh, part one completed. Thank god. Oh, insert Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. Thank you, Mr. Crow, for this lovely update. Wow. Look, first, first off, like first and foremost, Mr. Crow, you're an amazing developer. You're a Discord. You're a very nice person, and you, the fact that you are working so hard at this, and also having a Discord, interacting with us, like you're one of us, like you know, a normal person, which you are, obviously. Thank you, and to all the people that are helping with this game. Again, thank you all for giving us this because it's each update, especially for a version of just one point something, usually people would think small increments, right? But you, you're continuously changing the landscape of the game. The first time it was just get key and run, done. Second time, get key and run, but there's a, you know, a secret puzzle. Now you made it more linear. You're giving it stories, secret tapes, a cult. Uh, seek for immortality. So there's so much lore now. Uh, there's I know there's a lot of pictures and some baby pictures and all that. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see all of them because I'm I'm more I'm trying to focus on winning first. I maybe I'll do a video of like like in investigating all that. But thank you, Mr. Crow and Deli Crow Games, just in general and all the people that worked on it so far. Amazing update. I loved it. Uh, the sense of fear with the microphone. Uh, I know I don't know if it's gonna be the most entertaining for you guys to watch. Uh, I'll still put it out there. Hope you guys like it. Uh, I, know, I know it's not gonna be the most entertaining for you guys to watch. Uh, I'll, I still try to commentate. Uh, the basement part was just nerve-wracking because of the water, how loud it is. But you gotta remember that when you walk, the Ayuoki can't really hear you even with the water. So that's how basically he never came downstairs unless I ran. If you noticed. So yeah. Uh, also. I probably already inserted the clip in post production, but that ending where like the person's running, the lady's running straight outside and jumps over like the fountain and, and goes towards the gate. Uh, they probably did this unintentionally, but it reminded me a lot. If you guys seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like part one, Phantom Blood, it reminds me a lot of like the first person run, jump over the uh, the fountain, and then um, Jonathan enters the room like saying "Dio." So I'll probably insert that clip there, but I just thought that was a fun nod. Uh, so second part might be even more scary because if it's set outside, oh, that's gonna be nutty. Yeah, but this adding that whole level of fear of like having the microphone on. Granted, you could have the microphone off or not even play with a microphone, and it, it still would have that pressure of just you know being scared of just it you know being loud and it coming after you. So overall, amazing update. Love the game. Can't wait for 1.5. If you guys want me to see like play this again, maybe without the mic or like. 
or may want me to try and look for more hidden stuff. Uh, so yeah, they obviously, so the story is so far, they obviously try to summon something for the cult for immortality. Everything all got all messed up and it didn't work out like they wanted to. And here we are, Ayuoki got set free and it's over here killing everything. So yeah, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this very intense episode of Escape the Ayuoki. Uh, make sure you drop a like, comment, so definitely subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you guys again for 400 subs. Thank you guys. Uh, share the video out if you enjoyed. Uh, What's it called? Follow me on all my social media, like my Instagram, Twitter, my Snapchat. Primarily my Twitter because that's the most where I post and interact and whatever. There might be a Discord coming soon. I might create a Discord for you guys. So we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, do all that fancy stuff. Again, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. See you in the next one.